Bring him in here! <clears throat> Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Careful over this bridge here. Lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. In a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. 
There was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well... Don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Oh. Okay, let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. <laughs> Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. Friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just. Gentlemen. 
Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, but... Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! It's goddamn Dutch Vandalin, you morons! Shit! the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Get your strength up for the ride back. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Mike had found a dead body in the wagon outside. The place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Meet me out here when you're done. Poor bastard was married to.
taking so long in there? Just give me a minute. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we need. Sure. Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Go. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. Get away from me! Mike, ah! what the hell? Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm ah! not found in the cellar. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them old Driscolls. No, she ain't, Mike. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yes. Are you. Oh, you fool! Mike, look at her. Yes. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Whoa. Whoa. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. <laughs> Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. 
Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Comb O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <clears throat> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed, and he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. 